Sup guys, He King here bringing you a live reaction to this month's Attack on Titan chapter 116. So, yeah, where did we leave off last chapter? Eren entering the prison cell where Gabby is and Peckham revealing herself and pointing a gun at him and Levi was half dead and with Hanji they jumped into a river and Zeke had just been revived by what I assume is Ymir Fitz, the actual real Ymir Fitz in the paths dimension. So yeah, a lot of crazy shit's going on and we're back here so we might as well continue and see where the story's taking us next. Do, do, before I begin, uh, I will, I will say, I don't know if I've said this before, if I've made my calculations known beforehand, but yeah, I do, I do feel like the manga is coming to an end very soon. Uh, by my guesses, we probably either have 6 to 10 to 14 chapters potentially left. Now, the reason I say that is because each volume uh, Isayama does is at least about four to five volumes long. And, you know, if you consider the fact that I have 27, by the way, that's my cat by the door, scratching to be let in, and he's annoying as hell, so I'm not letting him into the room. Because <laughs> he'll just come in with his little ball and he'll want, me, he'll want to play fetch. Okay, he's like a dog, he wants to play fetch. I'm not doing that shit, so no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, Isayama likes to do four to five chapters, and if tw volume 27 is to be considered part of the final arc, and we're now on volume 29, then we either, yeah, we either have six chapters left for us, the, the series ends on volume 30, or we have five volumes left for us ending on volume 31. But then we might have four cha 14 chapters left if volume 27 is actually considered part of the Marlene arc. So that means volume 32. So yeah, um, just just throwing that in there, throwing that out there, so you guys know oh, well what I'm trying to say here. But anyway, let's uh, get on with uh, the actual chapter. Let's get to it then. So uh, we start off where we left off. Uh, the guard's dead. Uh, Falcon uh, Pickham's is pointing a gun at Aaron. Yep, he's not. He's just got those dead eyes there. Gabby aimed that rifle at Aaron. Okay, Gabby's crying. Gabby understood. Chapter 116, Heaven and Earth. So that's the uh, title of the chapter, Heaven and Earth. Are we gonna get Hell on Earth, maybe, <laughs> next next month? Um, so yeah, she's picking up the rifle from the dead guy and reloading it. Aaron, take your hands out of your pockets. If I don't do as you say, what are you going to do? I'll pull the trigger. Your brains would probably splatter onto the ground. I think you know already. You have no time to become a Titan. So, why haven't you shot me yet? If you're not going to pull the trigger now, what are you doing here? What happens if I don't take my... So the translation's a bit uh, wonky here. What happens if I don't take my hands out of my pockets? You won't know what's going to happen after your brains are scattered on the ground. No, I do know. You can't shoot. Okay, so Aaron is uh, going full on psycho here. He's pressing his head against the, uh, the, the, the handgun now. On the red nine, <laughs> for you Resident Evil, f uh, Resident Evil Four enthusiasts, uh, you haven't gotten permission to shoot the Founder Titan. Your orders are to reclaim the Founder Titan without a fail. So now Gabby's like she's crouched down, she's got the rifle in hand, and now she's talking. In this situation as well, you have to become a Titan and eat me alive. Oh no, that's that's uh, Aaron continuing to talk. It's, it's a bit it's a bit weird that the uh, uh, dialogue box is next to. Now, in this situation as well, you have to become a titan and eat me alive, right? Okay, Gabby's Gabby's pointing the rifle at him now. Miss Peckham's Gabby, take your finger off the trigger. Huh? Oh, she's got a finger there. Yeah, Gabby's got a finger on the trigger. The punishment for violating the important military discipline is something that not just you, but your entire family will receive together. Mmm. Yeah, okay, Peckham's realizes this and now she's putting the hand she's putting her hands up with the gun. Yes, I can't shoot you. And it seems impossible for me to eat you too. Is that so? Is that so, Miss is that, is that, I don't know if that's Aaron talking, is that so? And then Gabby's like Miss Peckham. When I infiltrated here, the traces of my Titan were discovered, right? It's good that I came here in order to approach you upon using force. But the reason I can't shoot you is not because of that. If you use the power of the founding Titan. I thought it'd be possible for you to overthrow Marlene. Okay, that's uh 
that's a bit weird. Uh, is she switching sides or something, or or, or what? Like. So now we're cutting to our prisoners, we're cutting to everyone in the jail cell, you know, John, Jean, sorry, John, Jean, uh, Connie, uh, Sasha's family, so, so this is Connie talking, so he's got his back against the bars, so we're just going to watch what happens here, kettle's boiling, hey, they got a boiling kettle, that's uh, <laughs> at least they're living, at least they're in prison comfortably. And there's Nicola, the water's boiling, we can drink our tea, and Mr. Blouse is like, we can drink our tea. Here, thank you. Who's that's Armin? Obviously, Mr. Blast has given him the tea. Armin, can you leave from here using the power of your Titan? I can't unless I destroy this village. Such cheap tricks are impossible for the colossal Titan. Unlike Aaron, so he's talking to Mika. So he's coming face to face with him. They've got the, they're showing this look, and there's Jean now, beautiful Jean with that beard and long hair. It seriously looks nice now that after the time skip. So, why did Aaron hit you? It's okay for you to tell us now. So he's giving him, Armin's giving that look. And now he's giving them answers. They're all just chilling, drinking tea and sitting down. He hurt Mika so with his words. And I laid a hand on him first and hit him. What? Connie's like, what? That, that he hurt Mika, sir? And Jean's like, how? That's, don't say it. It's over now. No, how is it over? Tell us how he hurt you. Well, Gene being very protective. I keep saying, like, Gene really, really loves Mikasa. You know how everyone is like that? Probably at the end of the story, it's probably going to be Aaron and Mikasa together. I don't see that happening, okay? I've never been convinced of that, so... And Connie's like, hey, can't you tell Gene? That bastard has become complete garbage. That to the people he cher cherishes the most, to the point that he would so meaninglessly hurt them, he's lost himself. Gene, if he's of sound mind... He wouldn't do those things with no meaning behind them. Ah, gee, my boy, you are smarter than he, he's always. Been. Technically, he's always been smarter than he looks. Like he know. And Armin, wouldn't some of the bastards' true intent be behind that? So now Armin and Mikasa are like giving him that look. They're probably having second thoughts now, coming to a realization. Hmm, maybe there is more to Aaron's hurtful ways than meets the eye. Maybe he's not just purposely trying to hurt them. So Yalina's now entering, and they all. Turn to see her coming in. Yalina, and there's Okubayayu, and there's another guard there. It's been a while, hearers of Shingangshina. I'm quite sorrowful that I've once again recruited with you across from a cage. Hey, Connie's like pissed. You're on their side. Let us out. He's going to Okubayayu. Let us out. Like, pressing himself against the bars. Like, you, t you, you detained me and dragged me around. So, isn't it shameful of you to say that? Until Zeke and Eren meet, stay here quietly. I'm sorry for the accent, I'm just trying to like, give a differentiation between the characters here. Um, uh, Connie's just like you, and you've got, the Sasha fa you've got the Sasha family on one side, on the table, and you've got the others, the, the sporting cast on the table there, opposite. And that's, uh, Jean's like, that's great, Yalina. You're feeling good that your work's paid off, right? Jean. Through, through you, Eren is ac acting according to Zeke's wishes. Attacking Marnley, earning the support of the Italians here, and as you're controlling the military through the wine containing the spider fluid. <coughs> Sorry about that, bless me. Through that, you guys will lay your hands on Aldea and the power of the founding titan, and you might be able to destroy Marnley and avenge your homeland. Isn't that the true purpose of the volunteers coming here? I know. Uh, it, uh, it was to develop this island, and now Okabayu's talking. This uncivilized island left behind for 100 years. Connie, what? And now, Nikolai, wasn't it for you guys to live here pl 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 pleasantly? You guys who were to eventually become the rulers of this island? Okabayu. No, no, I think this is the other, this is the other guy talking now. Uh, the side that was tricked is the one that lost, and that's all. Uh, Griot. Uh, so Nikolai is now talking to that guy. It's called Griot. Griot, I see that you sold us and were raised to be Yarlina's underling, you twisted bastard. So, for you guys that don't know, Griot, the, the other the other Italian uh, guard with Yarlina and Okobayu, he was the dude that was uh, behind the door during that um, meeting between the heads of, uh, of, of Paradise, and Nikolai was giving him the wine, and then he walked out and they had that look, and that's when they were also talking about a historious pregnancy and that. So this guy is obviously, that was the guy there, he's probably overheard everything, that the heads talked about, so... 
Are you an idiot? You're the one who took the side of the devils and betrayed us. What did you say? You saw and petted off to that descendant of the be of the devil bitch who smelled like potatoes. You are oh, you piece of shit. How dare you insult Sasha like oh and Nikolai's gone nuts. I'm gonna kill you. Let it go. Nick Jean's trying to hold him back. Let it go, Nicolo. And you talked about her with me every night. I was the idiot for thinking that after that whore died, you'd come back to your senses. What a prick. Uh, Connie, Connie's pissed. He's looking pissed from behind Nikolai. And you, this fucker. What did you say just now? I'll say it so you can understand. That whore was a filthy devil's... Bang. Shit. Yolina just pointed a gun at Grigor's head and blew his brains out. That felt good. No one gets to talk like Sasha about that, you piece of shit. You deserve- I personally, I would have preferred if Nicolo and Connie and Jean got to beat this dude to a bloody pulp, but I'll take bullet to the head for now, so yeah. Thank you, Yarnina. That was one good thing you've done so far in this entire horrible mess. And we're back again, so let's continue off. So yeah, Grigo's now dead, his brain splattered over the floor, and everyone's just like, ah, like, <laughs> Yal Yokobo, Yalina. I apologize for his rudeness. Oh, she's proper like, got her and them um, bowing. Oh, she's got it like that. <laughs> a typical kind of bow. I like her, like, uh, she's awesome. Now, now there's no bastard left on this island who will curse you as devils. And please, and please believe me, our true objective is not some empty thing like getting revenge on Marlene. Now the other, the supporting character is like, our goal is to end the cycle of hatred and save both Idalia and Marlene. I won't hide anything and will tell you everything. Zeke's secret plan to save the world. Everything about the Unifizium plan. That dude's brains are just... <laughs> okay, so Yarlina's actually going to tell them everything and now it's going to become a case of are these guys going to join forces with, with them and Zeke's plan? They're not going to do that. They're going to... I'll be surprised if that actually happens and we get two different splits of teams maybe opposing it or being all for it, but I don't think that's going to happen. I know for a fact Eren is not with that plan, so the fact that we're not seeing Eren's thoughts makes me really believe that we're not going to get his thoughts until the last few chapters in this manga. Like, it's going to be this big twist and it's going to be revealed and then we're going to see his thoughts on that. So, yeah, this this thing is just going to keep building up until we get to that revelation. Because usually that's how it goes in stories. Like, you watch any mystery or detective story or whatever, you don't get the true intentions of a, of a character who's, who's scheming or planning things until the very end and then it's all revealed to you and it's like, ah, and then you get the little... Points. It's going to be similar to, I guess, to how everyone found out that uh, Annie was a female tie-in or whatever, and a little hit of Reyna and Bertold and that. So it's going to be something like that that Isayama's putting. But we all know that's not the. We all know that's the case. Like we can tell. Like uh, it's just, it's a bit obvious now at this point. So yeah. Uh, so we're coming back to Aaron, Peckham, and Gabby in the cell. Peckham's back in against the door. Gabby's still got the rifle pointed. Surely you didn't just make the whole world your enemy without having some trick up your sleeve. But other than the power of the founding titan, what else do you have? Miss Peckham, what are you saying, Gabby? Now please put down the rifle. Then, what do you want? Kitty's going nuts, playing with his little ball outside. Sorry about that. <laughs> the liberation of the Italians who are being ruled by Marley immediately. I want to rescue my family from the internment camp. Okay, we're getting a quick flashback of, uh, of Peckham with her dad. I became a warrior because I wanted to let my father, my only family in the world, to get proper treatment. My father extended his life, but, he's, but he lives lost in sadness as he came to know I'm left with the years left in my term. Before I die, I want to show him who will be left alone. In, I want to show who will be left alone in this world the bright future of Idali with my own hands. In order to do that, we need to dissolve Marlene. I'll cooperate with you on anything. If we can kill every Marlene, I'll do anything. I'm... I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling convinced here. I mean, remember, as expected of you, Peckham's like... Peckham's is... There's a lot more to her than meets the eye, and uh, yeah, I think she's just, you know, pulling Aaron's chain here at this point. Gabby seems... Yeah, she seems shocked by this. The person behind the attack on Marlene was Zeke after all. And Miss Peckham too. 
and Miss Peckham too. What does that mean? Was 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 she behind? No, she wasn't because she rescued Gollard and and herself from the by telling the tank unit like no, she's not behind. What have we been fighting for? If we receive recognition from the world for being good Edalians, wasn't it that wasn't it that Edalian was going to be liberated? You're like Zeke, a traitor. She's pointing a rifle at Peckham now, Gabby. We're we're Marlians. Eldains, what do you think? We're honorary Marlians, no. We're the people. So Peckham's now approaching Gabby and she's holding a rifle now, like pointing it away from her. We're the people of Ymir. This is a fact we can't escape. Whatever people we're called, we're a race that be that can become titans. As you saw at Fort Salvar, the power of the titans won't be enough anymore. And then we won't be of news to the Malians and we'll all get disposed of. However much we prove ourselves to be the good Idalians, the day of our liberation won't come. We have no choice but to secure our human rights through our own strength. Prove yourself. So, Er is just uh, taking his hand out of his pocket and there's blood dripping from his finger. So, oh, he's gonna... If you're cooperating with me, show me proof. Oh, he's ready. He's getting ready to transform. She can't prove herself right now. Gabby's getting scared. Gabby, Peckham's just holding her own, like... I'll guide you to my colleagues who who are hidden in this village. What? Wait, what? Uh, I'll guide you to my colleagues who are hidden in this village, so... They keep saying village, is it? Shouldn't it be town? So, um, okay, so Peckham's not the, oh, I think that was obvious, she wasn't the only one that was there, like, obviously the others must have gotten there as well, like, Gabby's surprised, what? How? If you go to the roof of this building, I can point them out to you. Aaron's just like, he's got this weird, cool, serious face, like, and he's healing his finger now, and it, all right. And now we're cutting back to the others in the jail cell. At the Brass family, Nikola, Jean, Connie, Armin, Mikasa. So children won't be born? So everyone's just, yes. Yeah, so Okobayu so and this other dude are now putting Gilio on a stretcher to take him away. Uh, Yolani's sitting on a chair, facing them and talking. Yes, the pain that exists of having titans in this world won't be appearing again. Slowly, peacefully. And Jean's like, no, wait, how would that be peaceful? If the population decreases until the people of Ymir go extinct, in the last few days of the country, there won't be anyone left except a small group of the elderly. How would we protect the country in that state? Would other countries leave us alone? Related to that, just as in the past, in order to carry out the rumbling, it's absolutely essential we maintain the, we maintain, we maintain the inheritance of the founding titan and the royal lineage. Thankfully, Queen Historia has an heir. So yeah, that Gero dude overheard everything and has told them about that, so... We're cutting... We haven't seen Historia in ages, so now we're just going to a shot of her from behind, her belly, in a chair. Until that child completes his or her span of life, if a few, if a few people of Ymir inherit the Founding Titan, were you thinking of saying that? Were you thinking of saying that's perfect? Was that Jean talking? I don't get it. This, <laughs> Conversation's getting a bit weird for me, like, I don't get what the aim here is here. Perfection. Absolutely not. That sort of thing doesn't exist in any country. This country also has many problems, just one thing. That's for certain. The huge threat of the Titans. The history of blood and tears. It is a fact that the ones who can put a stop to all that do exist. Zeke and Eren. I don't know how much, how, how how many more thousands of years human history will continue for but will there be such people who will be able to accomplish this level of greatness in the future these brothers will become symbols who will be renowned for thousands of years just like the ancient gods and these two afterwards will become as messiahs the suns who shine upon humanity Armin's just crying his eyes out yeah Armin's crying his eyes out that's a uh... Yolina sees him crying, Mikasa is just sort of surprised by that. Why you like that? No, that you had such noble thoughts. I was so moved. That is good too. Mikasa has just got that blank like, stare, like, she's giving that look, and Arm is just like, I was so moved on Yolina, that is good to hear. Arm is chatting shit. I don't think he's moved at all. I think he's playing a bluff there. You know, you guys know that Armin has always been the bluffer, right? He's he's always been able to pull that, that kind of stunt where he's just like, 
tricking tricking the enemy. So I think he's doing the same thing here, and I think Minkasa realizes that. I think at this point, Jean and Armin have come to the realization that Eren's got a plan. So now the big question comes: What is that plan, and how are they going to get out of here to maybe help him with it? Like, I'm happy. Please understand me as well. Yalina, so this dude's running up to her. Please come here immediately. An infiltrator. Okay, she seems shocked by this. There's rushing. People are moving. They're putting on the. They're putting on. They're putting their or or M O D M gear on. The enemy has infiltrated us. One person's died. Who? No idea. It's the processor of the. It's the the the, the possessor of the cart titan. But it's been. But it's said she betrayed Marlene. What? Mr. Jaeger said so. So yeah, uh, yeah. Things things are going crazy. Okay, we're cutting to the uh, heads in the jail cells, and there's Falcon with them. So he's with he's with uh, what's his name? What was Erwin's friend's name again? I forgot. He's was it Nick? No, it wasn't Nick. Uh, Daz? No. Uh, I don't remember the dude's name. The one I was friends with, Erwin. What's going on? It's going quite nose nosy, and Falcon's there with a bandage on his head. So he seems fine now at this point. That's good. And now there's Aaron with Gabby and Peckham behind him and a bunch of soldiers behind them. Can I think of myself as your colleague? Peckham is just asking, can I think of myself? If you hand over the other infiltrators, until then I'll leave you and the kid in shackles. If you transform, this kid will be shred to pieces. Oh, okay, so he's got, he's got... Oh, that's, uh, that's fucked up. So he's got uh, Gabby and Peckham shackled together. And if she transforms, she's going to be turned into, yeah, she's going to be either blown away or torn apart as the titan flesh consumes around her. That's, that's messed up. I want to, I want to kind of see how that would happen, like what that would look like. Oh, Peckham's, yeah, Gabby's scared. Oh, Peckham's got her hands on her shoulder. Don't worry, this kid will understand quite soon. This kid will understand quite soon. Hmm. Hmm. What are you pulling here, Peckham? What are you pulling here? <laughs> Okay, now I hope this is the final round of this chapter, man, because, uh, yeah. So, they're walking up the steps now. Uh, that tiny Malian soldier is on our side. So, no, obviously she's not. And Peckham's now raising her arms. Please take care of me. She's smiling, looking down at everyone there. And G P Gabby's like, hey, Falcom, where is he? Falcom is also here, but he's, in, he's, he's ingested Zeke's spinal fluid. So, yeah, that's given Peckham and Gabby quite of a shock. What do you mean? Who knows? I heard he drank the wine containing fluid. Uh, maybe that time, Gabby, because of me, again. Because of you, again? Oh, that's right, because she, she was, yeah, she was there when he got, when he got, when Falcon got smashed in the face by uh, Niccolo. So yeah, Gabby's realizing that's her fault, and Peckham's, you know, she's she's coming to the understanding as well. They're continuing, they're continuing to walk up. I see they've taken control of the military by Zeke's spinal fluid. Do you know why Zeke has that special ability? Who knows? Do you know? Nobody seems to, other than Zeke. Hmm. Aaron's giving her that eye look. From the moment I met him, Zeke always seemed like he was lying. I only became certain of that four years ago because after he saw you before him, he said his true thoughts for the first time. Right, so we're cutting to that moment when uh, Zeke and Eren first met, um, when Eren had bottled at his grasp. That is true, believe in, believe in me. I understand you, Eren. I'll save you someday. If he doesn't lie in front of you, didn't he tell you the secret of his special ability? For example, that secret of dragging out and connecting with the people of the Founding Titan. So now the doors have opened up on the roof, and there's Yalina and the others. Ah, did you shave your beard? It suited you well. So, ah, okay, Peckham. I remember, because Peckham remembered Yalina, like. Hmm, so, yeah, that's the first. Yeah, Yalina's a bit spooked by seeing Peckham there, because obviously they recognize each other. It suited you well. Yalina's now turning to. So, Gabby and uh, Peckham are now walking onto the rooftop. There's a guard there. Aaron's still behind the door. Erin, trusting this woman is dangerous. True. I don't trust her, and that girl doesn't either. Okay, now they're walking onto the roof. Onto that big, beautiful roof. Uh, 
but so now Peckham's turning but you still won't use the power of the founding titan where is Zeke you'll soon know once we confirm the location of your colleagues show us where's the enemy so Aaron's got his hand out there he's getting ready to transform at any second now and Yarlina's putting a hand out with Okabayu and the guards behind them to stop them from I think to pretty much aim their rifles and to get ready if something goes wrong Peckham and Gabby are at the edge of the uh, roof now, overlooking the balcony. Okay, so uh, Peckham's just grabbed Gabby's hand and is clutching it, and Gabby... She's crying now, but then she stops and she looks at Peckham who's smiling at her. And now she, and now Peckham's pointing her hand, but she's pointing it towards Aaron, there. She's pointing at Aaron. Aaron's just realised it's a trick. She, and yeah, Peckham's just grabbed, she's just grabbed Gabby and she's running and holy shit, the ground below Aaron just crashed and oh my god. Oh my god, holy shit. It, yeah, that, it, it's, it's the jaw titan, it's just, it's just come out from, the, from below the roof under Aaron and Aaron's like caught right in, in the jaws. Is he gonna, yeah, he's shocked as shit. Um. What's going on? Did he did he avoid it? Did he? And Gilead just just has just come out, and uh, Peckham's just thrown herself and Gabby to the floor, away from the blast. Aaron, it, I don't know if Aaron's Aaron has been caught or not. Like, I don't think he's been caught. He's on top of its head. Yeah, he's on top of the jaw titan's face. Yalina, I'll come by you. They're all just shocked. What? I think Aaron's just got his legs bitten off. Yeah, he's gotten his legs bitten off, yeah. Yeah, his legs have been bitten off and Eren's falling now and he is pissed and he, yeah, he's just transformed. Boom, there's the lightning. Boom, there's the, there's the attack titan forming and there's Gilead on the rooftop and uh, Peckham and Gabby are behind them and he's shielding them basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's shielding them. He's got his uh, hands out, all, all armoured and that and he's protecting them from the debris. Mr. Gilead. It's difficult, it's difficult as expected. Mr. Peckham, you didn't betray us? Gabby, did you think I'd sell out my colleagues? But you said we have no future even if we follow Marlene. Look up. Huh? Oh shit. So uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five blips coming above. And we're going, we're, we're zooming onto one of the blips. I don't trust Marlene. I do wish. Okay, so she doesn't trust, I don't trust Marlene. I do wish for Idalia's liberation. It's just, I believe in my colleagues, together with whom I fought. And now we're cutting inside to the blip, and yep, yeah, there's there's a bunch of soldiers. There's Colt, Falcom's brother. There's McGuff leading the charge. Next to him is Raynar wearing some goggles there, and does he, he has a rifle at hand, and he's with the pilot. That's the signal. Perkum and Gilead have found the bastard's location. It's the Founding Titan, and there's Aaron looking up. Let's avenge, and there's Reyna, let's avenge Liberio, Liberio, and there's Aaron in, in the panel, so you got two panels there, Reyna there, let's avenge Libriano, and Aaron looking up in his, his eyes and that transformed inside, and destroy the enemy, extinguishing evil for the sake of justice. So, oh, it's, uh, we're getting a zoom in? So it's different dialogue, I'm going to... Okay, that's a bit weird. I'm not gonna bother reading that because it's just it's just a different wording here. We'll carry out our revenge for Librio. I'm going to end him in order to reclaim justice. They destroy the evil. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So whatever. Okay. That's the end of that chapter. Holy crap. Um. I think we all knew we all knew that the final battle was gonna be very near, but uh, for it for it to be this chapter, like for it to end with that big massive reveal, like. Holy crap. And we're getting Raynor versus Eren round two. And Eren versus the Jaw Titan round two. Like round. Not round two, sorry. It's round. It's round. How many times are they four? One, two, three. We're getting. No, four. This is round four, technically. It's crazy how many times Eren and Raynor have fought t together. Like, um. Yeah, it's round four. We're getting round four. Uh, uh, Eren versus Raynor, round four. <laughs> And a draw tight in round two, so yeah, um, that's crazy. Obviously, Peckham's not going to be able to transform, otherwise, Gabby's going to get shredded, so she, so she needs to get the handcuffs off. Um, but uh, it's interesting to note that Peckham does not trust Marley. No, she, like you said, she trusts her colleagues. 
So uh, I don't know if that entails Begoth as well or not, but uh, that's interesting to say the least. That uh, she probably is willing, willing to change sides, but because her friends are, not, are there with her, like she's not doing that. So uh, that's interesting. I'm wondering if, the, if, if something's going to happen that is going to change their allegiances. I still say that Zeke is going to be the big problem at the end. But uh, I don't know, for now we have to wait and see how that's going to happen. Uh, obviously we still have Levi to deal with and what's happened to him and Hanji and where they're going to go to. So I'm, I'm trying to think, where could they escape to that's, that's safe and I can't... Oh, that's right, I don't know if I said this before. I assume that Hanji and Levi, Hanji's going to take them to the, uh, the newspaper guys or Fergal. That's, that's who I'm thinking she's going to go to in order to keep safe and lay low. So that's, that's my reasoning there the next time you see them maybe. Um, obviously the final battle is now beginning in, in here and uh, that's, that's in Shingongxia. That's crazy, they're in Shingongxia. Like, like that sink in, everything where it began and that's where the final battle was taking place again. So uh, yeah, um, uh, yeah, Armin, Armin needs to get his ass up there and seriously, is, is Annie ever going to wake up or not? It's getting really annoying now at this point. Um, like what's going to happen with that? Like come on man, like... Like wake up Annie already. Like I, I hope I hope the story isn't gonna end in just six or ten chapters. I hope I hope that I'm right and we have like at least forty chapters left because god damn it I want Annie to come back. A lot a lot is happening. But the main point to know is that yeah, we are in the final battle now, so it needs to get to a certain point where these guys are gonna fight and it has to get to a certain point where all the other characters have to get to those destinations and then converge. And that's gonna be the quick question, how's this all gonna happen? Because I, I assume this is just gonna be a fight that's just gonna Escalate and it's gonna go on for the duration of the entire manga until we get to the big end So yeah, uh, I think a lot of crazy shit's gonna happen at this point uh, Yeah <laughs> Oh, It's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. And this is the halfway point of, of volume 29 as well, so Yeah, we got what we got two more chapters left until volume uh, 29 ends And then you have to wonder what the big cliffhanger for that volume is gonna be and then we're gonna go into volume 30 But yeah, uh, good chapter Awesome chapter as always. I uh, can't wait for next month. As always, guys, like and subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. Bye.